All right, so today's Friday towards the end of week seven. Uh, I'll show you what we have so far. We're using the TEB timed elastic band, local planner. And the thin green line on top is the global path. Here's the local path. The car is going to follow it using the set of command velocities that are the output from move phase package uh, via the uh, TEB. TEB is good because it should take into account car like steering. But one of the challenges I've had so far is that the car constantly goes a uh, big oscillation. So I actually had to turn down the max velocity theta in order to try and not have it oscillate as much. I haven't been able to figure out something else yet. The main idea is just that the car wants to follow the global path pretty closely. There's something called via points I can test with later. But basically the car wants to follow it pretty closely and um, because the steering is not perfectly instantaneous, the commands that are being given don't translate perfectly. So when the tells car to go left, it ends up taking a little bit to go left. So therefore it gears a bit to the right and then the car needs to correct back and therefore oscillates a lot. So a temporary fix I've done is to actually limit the, uh, what is it called, the, the velocity turn theta thing. Normally in computer should be about 1.3, I put it down to about 0.5 or 0.4. Uh, so it goes straight, but one of the things I notice is on turns, it can't execute the tight turns, uh, so therefore it has to back up a little bit. But here we go. This is at two minutes a second. It pauses every once in a while when it says you can't find the path. See how I went a little too fast, it back up a little bit. Obviously that's not good for racing, but it works for now for these purposes. Here's a car going down the hallway using TDB. Uh, it's oscillating a little bit, but a lot less than before. It's gonna overshoot too fast there, which means it has to turn very slowly. At least this time it doesn't have to back up. Here we see the car going again. It doesn't have to back up as well. It has to go very slowly, which is not ideal at all. And well, there's the car that's going. So, I just got the next waypoint right there. See how it backed up pretty quickly? I mean, the car is pretty smart too, but it can actually know when to back up. See, it backed up a little bit, backed up a little bit right there. So, do another Lucas Shetty. I mean, it's pretty cool to back up there. Honestly, it's not very smooth right now. I may just switch it back to the uh, original global plan because this one's obviously out of time. It keeps pausing because the car says that you can't find the thing. Or something. I know how to fix it. So let's just pause it right there. Let's reset it. I'll keep this video running so you can at least see the code. So we reset the car right there. The localization is still good for the most part. Let's quit this. And then let's go into the launch file where earlier I added in some global planner thing. I'm gonna take that out just because TV has its own global planner as well. So let's save that. Then I'll load it in Arviz. I need to set it back to the original plan that was being shown. So let's see. So Arviz. The problem with, uh, let's see. Down. We don't want this. Actually, it saved itself. See, the problem is that with TB local path, when I move the car right, it actually moves the whole global path because it's like relative to the car. I'm just gonna turn that off for now because we generally know what the global path looks like, so we don't really have to visualize it. Um, I do think it's important to visualize the actual car. I mean, the local path in the car. So this one should be a lot smoother this time. Um, yeah. This is much better, at least. That's the back up, though. Cool. Yep. 
I think my sister's got a new base one, that's why it's fine. Uh, went too far, went too back up. I mean, two reasons for why it's to back up. One reason is that I set the velocity theta to pretty small, so the car doesn't think it's turned very much. But that was also to fix the uh, oscillations. So it made me just want to fix oscillations by changing some of the uh, vibe points. And so there's the car going. It has to back up slightly because the turn radius is not as sharp. One more, one last time, just to back up. And there it goes. <laughs> 